Yahweh. Good morning to all of you. I'm excited to be with you here today for this prestigious opening of the New York City Climate Week. And I have some momentous news to share. Today, we, mar uh, we the Marshall Islands, are formally launching a strategy to reach net zero emissions by 2050. We are only the 10th country to produce a 2050 strategy and the first island nation to do so. And it is no coincidence that most of the countries that have come forward with strategies are members of the high ambition coalition, which the Marshall Islands can be. This strategy sets out a concrete pathway for the country to reach our long held vision of net zero emissions and climate resilience by 2050. The strategy is the culmination of a lot of work, including analysis of every sector of our economy and consultations with key stakeholders, such as the private and public sectors, <coughs> domestic and international, as well as, of course, the Marshallese community. We have given this strategy a name. Pile Pileo has a special meaning in Marshallese. It means lighting the way. That is what this strategy represents to us the light guiding the way to our future as a zero emissions country. The strategy sets out what needs to be done to achieve that goal. As a leader, this strategy is an invaluable tool. I can see what needs to be done and what my responsibilities and those of my governments are. And the Marshallese people can see what the responsibilities of my successors and future Marshallese governments will be for the coming decades. The strategy has helped us in advance of the IPCC re special report on 1.5 degrees throughout in just over a week from now, understand the gravity of the adaptation needs that face us. Under the strategy, we have committed to producing a national adaptation plan in 2019 which will address our uniquely vulnerable position as an atoll country which faces unique threats to its territorial integrity. The Tle 2050 strategy is a living document. This means that it responds as we respond. We undertake to update it and enhance it as we learn and build on our experience on a regular five-year cycle linked to the development of our NDCs. I encourage every country, as well as every city, every state, and every company to respond to the invitation of the Paris Agreement to come forward with their own strategy by 2020 at the latest. I challenge you all to develop your own vision to fully decarbonize by 2050. If we can do it, so can you. And only if you do, can we stay within the 1.5 degrees temperature limit of this Paris Agreement. To achieve the full ambition of the Tile 2050 strategy, what we call the lighthouse scenario, we will need access to private and public financing immediately, especially for the adaptation components. I therefore invite all those concerned with financing or investing in these types of projects to urgently assess how accessible your funding is to highly vulnerable countries which face considerable resource and capacity constraints, but where the need for funding has never been greater, especially for adaptation. And as I say, our vulnerability as an atoll nation is unique. We are only one of a handful of nations that face an existential threat to the climate change. This is a unique challenge and we need help. I will expand more on the details of the strategy throughout the week, but this leads me to my other announcement. 
So Marshall Islands has recently taken on the presidency of the Glen Forum, Forum, Forum. On November 22nd this year, we will be hosting a virtual summit entirely online to provide an opportunity for every country, not just those from the CBF, and others to show that they are prepared to step up. This means increasing ambition by 2020, which is what is needed if we are to stay within the 1.5 degrees Celsius temperature limit of the Paris Agreement. And I'm encouraging countries to use the CBF Summit as an opportunity to show they are prepared to do this, including by signing the Declaration for Ambition or committing to bring forward a 2050 strategy. We look forward to your partici uh, participation. Join us. Friends, the last thing I would draw to your attention <coughs> is the urgency with which we must approach COP24 this December. I commend my Pacific friends, Fiji, for their stoic leadership during this COP presidency. If you ever want to steer a ship through troubled waters, ask an islander to take the helm. <laughs> the Talanoa dialogue gives my country and others like us great hope that we can indeed raise ambition. The dialogue must offer solutions and ideas to help all countries to raise the ambition of their Paris targets by 2020, consistent with the Paris Agreement of 1.5 degrees temperature limit. COP24 will need to send a very clear and unambiguous signal of intent in this regard. Coming on the weeks after the IPCC report, <coughs> the world will be watching. COP24 must also finalize the Paris Agreement work program. We cannot leave Katowice without the Paris Agreement being fully implemented. Ministers must instruct their negotiators to get the job done. There is no more time to waste. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Komoltada, thank you very much.